Hi, I'm Kate and here are some of my favourite stretches to help towards front splits. This can be done by any level, feel free to modify and adapt as you wish. So starting off with our butterfly stretch, try to use your elbows to press into the knees as you hold onto your feet or ankles. Breathe in, lift your nose and exhale as you lower your forehead down. Try to feel the weight of your head pulling down towards the floor as you hold this stretch and where possible use your elbows to open out the knees and hips. Now rolling back up and we're going to repeat this stretch again. Sitting tall, lengthen through the spine, inhale and exhale as you fold forwards. This is a great stretch to gently open out the hips and stretch the lower back to get us ready for some of the more intense stretches coming. Now sit back up and we're going to extend one leg out to the side on a slight diagonal, keeping the other knee bent. Then sitting tall, we're going to bring the opposite arm up and over as we exhale and stretch to the side. Then we're going to sit up straight again, twist from the waist and fold forwards. If you want to avoid twisting the back, you can avoid this stretch and just repeat the side stretch again. To make this stretch more intense, you can flex the foot and you should feel a deeper stretch running along the backs of the leg. Sit up gently and we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So sit up tall, lengthen through the spine, exhale as you stretch. Sit back up again, grow tall, twist and reach forwards. And now adding an optional flex if you want to feel a more intense stretch. It's important not to force any of these stretches, especially when working with the back or the hamstrings. Your flexibility should increase with practice, but if we force too hard in the beginning, you will risk an injury. Now bringing the legs together, sitting tall and reach the fingers up to the ceiling. Inhale and then exhale as you fold forwards. Let the head drop all the way down. And now repeating a second time, seeing if you can go a little bit further. So in this stretch, we're still stretching the backs of the legs, the lower back and the hips, slowly increasing the intensity of our stretches for our front splits. Repeating again, and this time you can flex the feet for an even deeper stretch. Now for one of my favourite hip stretches and this is probably one of the most enjoyable to do as well. Lying on your back with one leg bent, hug your knee gently in towards your chest. Now gently bring that knee across the body, open the arms out to the side and look in the opposite direction. Again avoid this stretch if you don't want to twist the spine. Not only is this a nice stretch for the hips, but it's a great opener for the back. Now extending that leg up to the ceiling, keeping both knees straight and your hips square, pull your leg gently towards you. And if you can't quite reach your leg, you could use a TheraBand or even a towel wrapped around your foot. Bend the knee, take a break, and we're going to go again. As I said earlier, try not to force this stretch. We are working with the hamstrings here, so it's important to go very gently. Bend the knee, and now we're going to do kind of a half of a happy baby stretch if you're familiar with that yoga stretch. If you can't reach your heel, you could hold onto the knee or onto the back of the leg. Essentially, we're just trying to open out the hips here and push the knee down to the floor. This stretch is also really good if you're working on your box splits or even your extensions to the side. If you like, you can now extend the knee and we're going to get a hip stretch as well as a hamstring stretch. Now 
Now let's swap over to the other knee. So start by bending it and pulling it into the chest. Bring the knee across the body, open the arms out to the side and look in the opposite direction. Extending that leg up to the ceiling, feel free to use something to wrap around your foot if you can't reach your leg. Keep checking in with the hips, making sure you're not hitching or twisting them. We're going to take a break here, bend the knee and extend again. Try to keep the head on the floor as well. Now holding onto your heel or behind the knee or at the back of the leg, pushing the knee down to the floor and opening out the hips. You can use your opposite hand to push down the opposite hip to check that they're not twisting. Feel free to extend the leg if you are particularly flexible and then relax. Moving on now to our lunges, this will stretch the hip flexors and the hamstrings. So start by kneeling, extend your legs slightly and then push forwards with your hands either side of your front foot, making sure your knee is directly above your heel. We're going to hold this lunge and you should feel a nice stretch just around by where your hip is. The more you push your hips down to the floor, the deeper the stretch. Now rocking backwards, stretching the leg and adding a flex if you want a more intense hamstring stretch, try to drop the head down here. If you can't reach the floor, you can hold onto furniture or a wall. Repeating our lunge once more, so pushing forward, hips down to the floor. And now we're going to stretch our back knee, pushing up onto demi point. Drop that knee down to the floor. And we're going to move on to our pigeon pose. So your back leg should be right behind you with a stretched knee. Your front leg should be bent. And the more you open it out to a 90 degree angle, the more you're going to open out the hips. You can either hold yourself up on your hands or you can go forwards onto your elbows. Or you could even add a little back bend here and keep checking that your hips are square. Now rolling onto your front, we're going to stretch out the quads. So holding onto your foot, pull it towards you and hold. You should feel a nice stretch running all the way through the quads. Sitting up and we're going to repeat everything now on the other leg, starting with our lunge. So extend the leg slightly so that when you push forwards, your knee is over your heel. Drop the hips down to the floor until you feel a nice hip flexor stretch. Rocking back into our hamstring stretch, or you might call this a runner's stretch. Again, if you can't reach the floor, use furniture. Don't feel like you have to fold all the way forwards, go gently on the hamstrings. Push forwards into your lunge once more and we're going to go up onto demi point and stretch the back knee. Drop the knee down and we're going to move on to our pigeon pose stretch. Again, feel free to hold yourself up on your forearms or sit tall or even add a back bend here. Keep checking in with the hips, making sure they're square and that the back knee is straight. Moving on to your front, we're going to stretch out the quads. You can relax your forehead down onto the hand that you're not using to pull your foot towards you.
Now pushing up into parallel fourth. So one leg is in front of the other, feet are parallel, and you're going to fold your body forwards. Again, don't worry if you're not quite touching the floor, feel free to use furniture to help you with this. This is again a nice hamstring stretch. Now walking your hands forwards, we're going to lift one leg up. Again, don't worry if it's not going all the way up to the ceiling. We're just trying to get a nice ponche stretch here. Spinning round to parallel second. So this is legs out to the side, knees stretch, and then you can hold onto your elbows and let the body drop forwards. Spinning round to the other side and we're going to repeat our parallel fourth stretch. Walking the hands forwards and lifting one leg as high as you can into our ponche stretch without letting the hips open out. From here, we're now going to try our front splits. Using your arms to hold you up, slowly lower yourself down, sliding one leg forwards and one leg behind you. You can use chairs to help you in this if you can't quite reach the floor. So you could have one chair either side, holding yourself up by your hands. And then when this becomes too easy, you could replace the chairs with something lower, like yoga blocks, for example. Keep the hips square and the knees straight. Swapping over to the other side now. So start by holding yourself up nice and high and gently lower. Don't force your front splits. You'll see best results by practicing frequently and increasing the intensity levels gradually as the stretch gets easier. Keep checking in with your alignment and feel free to get creative with props to hold yourself up if you can't quite touch the floor. And that concludes our stretch for front splits. I hope you found these exercises helpful and don't forget to check out the other stretches in this series.